time is now 640. We've been so lucky with the fair in town to have some great weather. Of course, that is going to be changing as we go through the week, though. That's right. We're going to be looking at rain building in, but we need the rain because September was a very dry month for us. And we're hoping as we get closer to Halloween, which is now just three weeks away, that we are going to pick up that deficit here during the month of October. So, yeah, three weeks until Halloween. But who's counting? I am a live mm -hmm. look at the fair this morning. Temperatures are in the 40s pretty much area wide. 45 is the current number in Perry at the moment. The radar, nothing going on right now, but that's going to change here in the hours and days to come. 46 in Macon, 48 in Warner Robins, 45 in Cochrane and in Dublin this morning, waking up to 50 in Roberta, 50 in Monticello, and 47 there in Monroe County. What I'm catching my, or what's catching my eye on the satellite and radar is all the clouds out into the Gulf of Mexico this morning. That's our next system beginning to get its act together. Coastal low pressure system going to lift towards the north and bring us a lot of rain beginning tomorrow night here in central Georgia and then move out by the time we get to the weekend. But look at this yesterday. How about that? A 42 degree temperature swing from 525 in the morning to 245 in the afternoon. Started off at 38 and went all the way up to 80 through the afternoon. Now today, I don't think we're going to see a temperature swing that big. Still a noticeable one, but not that big because we're not as cool this morning. But we will get into the upper 70s by the noon hour and then eventually low 80s later on this afternoon. Increasing cloud cover today is going to keep our temperatures warmer through the overnight. Uh, say low is around 60 as opposed to being in the 40s this morning. And then through tomorrow, that cloud cover sticking around overcast skies before showers really begin around that 2, 3 o'clock hour. Last on and off through the dinner time hour and then it becomes a steady rain as you head to bed Wednesday night. Overnight into Thursday morning, a rumble of thunder or two will be possible. Not looking at strong storms by any stretch of the imagination, but still a soggy commute for Thursday morning. The last of the steady rain getting out of here by 1, 2 o'clock on Thursday, but the cloud cover sticking around through much of the day. I've got some question marks about Friday. You can see the GFS trying to throw a shower or two over us. The Euro trying to as well, but the rain chance not necessarily as high as what the models were showing uh, just about a day ago. But the European trying to pull some storms in here for Saturday morning. Uh, not too sure about that one. We'll see here in the uh, hours to come and see how the models trend. But regardless, Saturday after noon, after the, the, the noon hour looks OK, and that will continue on into the weekend. Now, how much rain are we talking? The GFS saying maybe two to three inches of rain and some spots down to the south uh, as 1.3 of making one in Dublin. We check out the European model and you can see actually the latest run here trying to throw some more down into Dodge and Wilcox County, but don't pay attention to the exact locations. Just pay attention to the trends. We need the rainfall and we will take anything we can get. There's your seven day forecast 84 today. 77 for tomorrow. That's 70% chance of rain, primarily during the late afternoon and evening. 90% chance of rain on Thursday. That's going to come for the first part of the day. Overcast for the second part of the day. Question marks on Friday. But we will clear out and cool down through the weekend. 70 the high on Sunday, 68 on Monday.